Hi Virgo, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at what is going on for you in love, Virgo. We have listen deeply. Okay, and we have trust the universe at the bottom. So some of you, I do, I am picking up here that this could be about a connection that you are currently in, okay? Or this is about just the energy in general of what you are manifesting in terms of relationship. Because something about this feeling or this energy, um, it does feel like having to really connect on a deeper level to somebody. So this is about really having to feel the energy, really having to be compassionate um, and also really having to open the heart here. Because when I was shuffling this deck too, we do have the five of pentacles reverse, feeling alone in reverse. It's kind of interesting that this card came out too, because there's a feeling here of having to, there's two people being connected here as well. But it's also about the, it's also spiritual. So some of you with this trust the universe too, you do have to really trust right now in what you're feeling uh, and trust in any intuitive nudges that you have, because I do feel like you're being asked to really open up to the expansive um, support that is around you with this Five of Pentacles reverse. So if you feel alone, it's like you're kind of coming out of this here. There's a lot of comforting presence, and we do have trust that came up here too. So this is kind of the opening message that I feel Spirit wants the collective to know is right now, listen to not just those around you, but also listen to, you know, yourself, but listen more importantly to spirit, listen to what you're feeling, trust in your own heart, trust in your own feelings is what I'm getting here. So let's see. So this is going to be for the collective in love. Anyone who needs to hear this, what is the collective energy within and around love right now? We have longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. We have weight. The timing is not quite right. And we have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship at the bottom. Wow, look at that. We have twin flame, we have vulnerability, and we have mastery. So this is kind of what I was feeling. I do feel like a lot of you, this is probably picking up on somebody from the past, okay? Because we have longing here. Or maybe you're just kind of in a period of separation. I'm getting a couple different things here. Some of you, this is sort of a lesson that you've been going through with the mastery here. And it's sort of like there's a feeling here of you having to come out of a feeling of maybe limbo or a feeling here of having, you know, gone through. Yeah, we have to detach here. The injustice, we have the seven of sword reverse, seek the truth, and we have feeling alone in reverse. So collectively, I feel like we are kind of moving through a time where we are releasing this kind of feeling of being alone or we need to. And that's what I feel. So this could, I feel like for some of you, this is kind of about being open. And that's what I was getting, being vulnerable, being able to be ourselves and also being able to connect more deeply with somebody, however that could be for you. And I feel like the reason this is, is some of you, this is a twin flame journey that you're on. Um, you can just call it anything that you really feel that has served a spiritual purpose for you. So maybe you felt a very deep connection with somebody. It's been a mainly a pure type of connection, but you felt this connection. And I feel like there's something about this connection, um, like on a spiritual level right now. So you could be feeling this person, you could be feeling this energy. Um, I'm getting a, a ton of different things here. Some of this is somebody you have not met yet. It's just really going to depend on where you're at to kind of make it available for whoever needs this message. But, um, it could also be that you're kind of aligning to a feeling within a vulnerability. You're really aligning to being able to open your heart more. And because of this, I feel like you are going to be kind of merging into um, a new chapter in your love life. 
Some of you, this is somebody, like I said, from the past year, probably somebody who you consider maybe a twin flame or someone you consider a, a very deep spiritual bond, spiritual connection. And I feel like this person could be coming towards you in the future or you could be coming towards them. And there's kind of going to be this crossroads in regards to how can we be vulnerable or is it even possible to be vulnerable? Because if it's not possible, then we kind of repeat the same things in a sense. So it's like this feeling of really having to, having gone through, yeah, the three of swords is beneath this too. Having gone through this detaching from a very logical perspective, the, the justice Libra energy, and with the seven of swords reversed um, and the five of pentacles reversed, feeling alone, it's sort of like been a time of a void, you know? So for a lot of you, this is maybe somebody you've been kind of in a void from. You've been in a void. You've been apart from each other, maybe temporarily, maybe a long time. And it's really been like a mastery of something. Not that you've completed it entirely and that it's no longer a part of you or that you don't have more to learn. But there's something about connecting on a deeper level that's going to inspire change um, and vulnerability. So even if this means you, you know, um, being able to be there for somebody more or just approach things differently with them, it is going to be a decision upcoming in the future. So it's almost like you're kind of connecting, for those of you who are very spiritually connected to somebody, it's like you're kind of connecting with this person right now through the 5D or through your intuition um, and vice versa with a longing card here. And you could even be getting a lot of downloads like tel uh, telepathy here because of the fact that we have the twin flame too. It's something about this I feel is very transformative or very deep. And so it's really it's really forcing you to look deeply within yourself. And the way this man is also touching the heart too, to really connect with your vulnerable side. Somebody else that you're connected to as well could be going through kind of maybe a difficult time, which has really been, it served its purpose. Again, with this justice and the seven of swords and the five pentacles, it served a purpose to... To really learn through the mistakes that we've made, to really learn through our journey. But right now, with the timing here, the timing is not is not is not white, is not right. So with trust the universe, this is why I feel there is a lot of intuitive knowing that you could be getting at the moment. Yeah, the three of swords. Look at that, the three of swords and the heart chakra. So there's a lot of heart chakra. Um, I mean, for some of you, it is pain because, I mean, th there's a feeling here of being comforted as well. So you could be going through quite a bit of pain within your heart or somebody else connected to you could also be going through this too. And this is why I feel there is going to be a need to make a decision here. So let's see what else we have. This is for the collective and love. It's like there's a halt before some form of choice is made. We have the Seven of Wands, Choose Your Battles, Three of Cups Reverse, Share the Love, and we have here the Eight of Pentacles Reverse, Dedicated Effort. We have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like some of you, you're kind of in this place here. We have the throat chakra coming up as well. And we have the seven of pentacles reverse. 
with this here, the Seven of Wands and Choose Your Battles, I do feel like there's been maybe a feeling of trying to um, trying to come to terms with something, coming to terms with a relationship here that seems to be a strong connection from the from the past for a lot of you, or this is somebody maybe you're currently dealing with, but and you know they could be missing you or they could be longing for you here. But what I'm getting is that with the yeah the nine of pentacles well-deserved reward it's like there's been a lot of there's a truth that's emerging about this connection with the butterfly here and it's sort of like there's a feeling here with this three of cups reverse share the love and the weight there's there's a feeling of wanting to collect wanting to not collaborate but wanting to come together wanting to share the love wanting to see this here to listen deeply and this is something that i feel is not being done just yet for a couple of different reasons depending again this is maybe even purely just a spiritual lesson for you for the for the person who's watching and this has been a lesson for you to kind of achieve a level of mastery within yourself in order to you know, approach new love differently or to approach the situation here different differently. Um, but there's a feeling of co compassion here. There's a feeling of wanting to kind of merge into a deeper level of connection with this shared love, but it's not being done at the moment. And I feel like the reason why is because there's a feeling with the seven of wands, choose your battles, of really having to let the guards down with the vulnerability. So this could be somebody who is thinking quite a bit about you right now. Maybe you're in a separation, but they're having to kind of face a lot of different aspects of themselves. They're really having to face like, this is a very different energy than this here. So it's like having to kind of tear down the ego, tear down the walls of what is making us feel that we are, I'm even getting it with this card here too. Like we're kind of at the top of this pillar here, but are we really letting anyone in? Are we ready to be vulnerable? Are we ready to allow love in? So it's almost like there's this awakening happening that we want to feel something deeper within love. And I do think this could be somebody else who you're connected to too, but also you. And so there's a feeling of com completing one aspect of a, of a, of a um, lesson here in regards to a connection and this deck is actually coming together too which is another card with two people on it like this so it's very much about see there's something very similar about this like somebody behind the back here too with the hands on the on the back so it's like there's a there's a yearning to come together with somebody and for a lot of you it's somebody specific and vice versa and for some it's just in general wanting to maybe have a connection wanting to you know, you feel like maybe you, you're ready for that. You feel like you've mastered different parts of yourself here. Um, and there's a clarity. There's some truth. And this man also has his heart, his hand on his heart too. So it's like there's a lot of truth here, this green butterfly. Um, there's a lot of truth about wanting to offer. There's a lot of hands here. But with the seven of wands and the longing and the vulnerability, this is what I'm saying. It's sort of like having to ask ourselves, like, are we ready to be vulnerable? And because sevens are internal challenges too. They're really when we have to go through internal work. So what do we, like, are we imagining these, these um, obstacles? Are they real? Are they imagined? Are we being a little bit too defensive for no reason? And this could go for you too. It's like, you're really having to kind of move through these spiritual challenges that you've been through with what seems to be a very, maybe twin flame connection here in order to trust your higher self more, to trust your um, heart more here. And so with the eight of pentacles and decision, for some of you, this is a connection that maybe there is a feeling here of being uncertain if there's any effort being put into it can it grow because there's something with this throat chakra and the seven of, of pentacles so um this is maybe a connection here that is going to have to come into a decision on a more practical level here there's a connection that again there's there's 
a, t- a time that needs, there's a, a waiting before offering. There's a waiting before coming together. And in the near future or in the future, there's going to have to be a decision here on whether to communicate, whether to put an effort into something that has already been to some degree established. And with the throat chakra and the listen here too, and the vulnerability and the ace of swords, it is going to be in the form for a lot of you of communication. And this is why I think it's really important to be vulnerable, even if depending on what you want here, it's just, there's something that feels like it's unfinished or it's something here that feels like it is needing to kind of come out into a resolution. And it's because of, like I mentioned, it's because of a feeling of really maybe coming to an understanding that we want to connect or we, we want to, whether we can or not, is going to depend on if we can overcome our challenges, but we, we, we want to connect, you know, we want to kind of move past a certain cycle in this journey, whatever journey it is, and to come together to share our experiences, to share our heart with somebody. Um, and it's sort of like behind the veil, there's this feeling of yearning for this. And for a lot of you, somebody specific yearning for you to come back or to return to you. But until we can face this, you know, that's what I'm saying. So there's a waiting, there's a pending t- time period. In the future, there is going to be a decision again here to make on do we have what it takes to even try to put in effort into this because it's still coming out blocked. Um, and there's a feeling of insecurity I'm getting to. So maybe you feel insecure, but I think it's probably somebody else. Because like there's a, there's a, there's a desire to merge. Um, but somebody here feels like, would it be any different? Would it be, can this build into something? We'll see what else we have here. Actually, I'm going to get a confirmation for this decision with this deck here a little bit more. Can we confirm decision for the collective? Oh, that's too many cards. Let's confirm decision for the collective in love. Yeah, we have leap of faith. It is safe for you to take to make the move you're considering. We do have here protected. Yeah, we have awakening. We have protect and we have finances. I do think this involves finances. So this is going to depend on your story. But some of you, this is somebody here who maybe there's a, there's there's a feeling here of um, having insecurity around finances or feeling a little bit like Yeah, there's a fear here. There's a fear about taking a leap of faith. There's a fear about expression. There's a fear about being vulnerable. Um, and that's kind of what this whole thing is about. So to kind of summarize it, I feel there's a desire to communicate. If this is somebody you haven't spoken to, or you're kind of in a period of maybe not being sure what to do here, there's a desire to take a leap of faith into putting in more of this sort of effort into a relationship, into, yeah, this connection here. But I feel like there is some financial either struggles or challenges or insecurities here. There has been an awakening that has been happening here behind the scenes. And I feel like with this protected and the Ace of Swords too and the mastery, it's like there's something about this that feels like it's ready to come into a decision. Whatever that choice is going to be for you, it feels like it's ready to come into some form of truth, some form of decision. And this is also why we have trust the universe and leap of faith. So there's a need right now to really take a leap of faith.
And for a lot of you, this is, again, somebody here who has been really contemplating a lot or they've been thinking about you, but they may have a lot of walls up. They also may have other situations that they're having to kind of defend, but a lot of it's coming from fear. Some of it could be financial. Some of it definitely could be practical concerns or even with the seven of wands having to really, because um, the seven of wands typically too is somebody who may have opinions of other people or they have to really kind of stand on their own against other opinions or other people so it's sort of like with that protected too there's a feeling here of being having to take a protected route to this connection to make it work or to come together because i do feel like there is again there's a connection here so this is for those of you who have something in some way established with somebody here and it feels like a pure thing not a super toxic relationship so Let's see what else for the collective and love. So there's going to be some form of crossroads here coming up very shortly, I feel. And it's going to be maybe a, a need to have a vulnerable conversation. But I don't know if the action is going to be taken just yet. Even though the desire is there. So any messages for the collective in love? <laughs> okay, let me grab this. Yeah, this just flew on the ground. We have mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude. We have self-indulgence, focus on self-worth, self, uh, self, <laughs> focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, we have interested, conversing, awaited message, arrives, text, call, email. So yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of masking how somebody feels here. So again, vulnerability, leap of faith. Somebody here is really holding back a lot of uh, internal challenges. And also not just that, but see how these people actually are here too. Like they're almost like facets of the self. Um, and it could be you too, but it feels like really suppressing a lot of feelings that are underneath the mask. I'm also getting somebody pretending that they are doing better than they are. So, yeah, there's a, there's a need to really be vulnerable. So if, if you want to make a relationship work here, and this is somebody who I feel there is going to be, again, some form of conversation coming in or need to, to, to converse. Um, because this is something that I feel is going to have to come to, again, the decision here of some sort. And so this could be a message coming in. This could be communication coming in um, or need to kind of express what is really going on. If it's financial difficulties in an existing relationship, if it's maybe a reason to why somebody can't seem to open up, um, there's a lot of self work being done. We have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, boundaries, still angry. So let's see, let's confirm this. So can we confirm the energies here that are playing out for the collective in love? We have the moon in reverse. We have the Eight of Coins reverse again. We have the Ace of Wands reverse. And we have the Star. Okay, we do have at the bottom here. Wow. The Two of Cups again. 
the Queen of Wands reversed, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords reversed. So, first of all, with the moon here, again, the moon, the mask, there is definitely an element here of somebody not being totally honest with the Seven of Swords here too, but I'm getting a couple different things. Um, there could be more than one person involved here. This could be somebody who has... Um, uh, it could be somebody who has another relationship for some, or it could be that there is two different connections here. Fire sign, potentially, and an air sign, but it doesn't have to be. But there's definitely a connection here with the Two of Cups to show twice. There's a solid connection here that has already been established for a lot of you. This is somebody you probably know. Um, and this is somebody who's very connected to you spiritually. However, with the moon, the mask, the longing, the vulnerability, somebody here is having a very difficult time being open, being honest, being vulnerable, taking a leap of faith into this new beginning, Ace of Wands and the Star. I do feel like some of you, because this Eight of Coins is coming out twice in reverse, I feel like some of you are... going to again here have to make a decision on is this still something that you are able to allow into your life here is this something that's going to lead anywhere because for some of you i do feel there's something about finances or security here that's really sabotaging a connection maybe this person has financial obligations or they have something else going on here um because we have this not today card too so the star is almost like a star that is promising like a future thing, like it has not come in yet with the trust of the universe too. Um, and of course, it's going to depend entirely on what you want with this connection, with this situation. But I do feel like the energy of it is that um, somebody here ha is, is, It's almost like I'm getting there's a potential here with the Ace of Wands to re-spark this connection. But it's it's like I do feel for some of you, you are going to be denying this. Or there's a feeling of it still not being time to come in with Ace of Wands. Because Ace of Wands can be a very sexual card too. So I feel like for some of you there's 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 a there's a balance between the practical and the physical side of a connection that you are going to have to make a decision about, if that makes sense. Yeah, because with this Queen of Wands reverse and the Queen of Swords, I do feel like there is definitely... Like I said, for some, there's two people involved. Two other could be women. Um... And with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords reverse, this is really about cutting through any of the past illusions here very, very strongly, even though there's a very strong connection here for somebody with the Two of Cups, the Twin Flame twice. Um, so this person may be suppressing a lot of things about what they want to take a leap of faith towards, which is probably this connection. Let's look at the... Why do we have the Eight of Coins in reverse twice? We have the mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds. Why do we have the Eight of Coins twice? the empress and the hair font in reverse the lover as well yeah this is a very spiritual there's a very spiritual energy around this connection so yeah um I feel like this is you for a lot of you, especially if you're a feminine, the empress. 
and you are going to have to make a decision, like, like I said, about this connection, because there's a lack of, maybe there's a lack here of the higher connection with the Hierophant and the lovers. So it's almost like I'm getting this feeling where this is, just to kind of reiterate again, this is a very spiritual tie, a spiritual connection that you have with somebody here. And there is a lot of internal truths and revelations that have been going on. I do feel like this person is longing, is missing, maybe you as well. They are really struggling deeply with a lot of masks, internal wounds, vulnerabilities, um, having some form of awakening that has kind of been going on here, uh, and then wanting to, like having truth in the heart about how one wants to maybe connect more deeply, but having kind of two different, like having a one foot in, one foot out about how to make that happen. There may be a communication that does come in here at some point, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of triggers that are going to be resurfacing when it comes to the higher um, aspect of the connection, because this would be a very spiritual, you know, relationship here. It's also about something that we are maybe following in terms of a tradition or in terms of religion. Do we need to, is it time for us to, and this could be this, this other person too though, is it time for them to kind of release an outdated life or an outdated pattern in their life that is not allowing this connection to be put in, uh, like the work into, if that makes sense. Like what sort of false masks masks are we holding on to or even potentially other connections or relationships that are causing us to feel like we're not aligned with our true path if that is this is making sense so i feel like there's going to be definitely there's a connection here that's going to have to be i i, I do feel like there could be two different connections here but um Let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome or advice? Love. We have here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Forgiveness, self-care, and soulmate. What is the outcome in love here for the collective? Okay, we have here, you're juggling too much. What is the outcome here for the collective in love? The same story repeats. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like a lot of you, there is going to be a situation that's going to continue to repeat itself. Um, yeah, let go of an old love story. We have the scales of karma is taking care of a situation. So... Some of you are going to be coming into forgiveness. And I think this has been coming through in the collective readings I did too for the Zodiac signs for love. Um, you are going to be, uh, at the very least, you are going to be sort of forgiving. Maybe even just within the heart space, maybe even with communication. And with the Empress and the self-care, you are going to be prioritizing you. And I feel like with this here, the soulmate, this is actually what you are lining up to. So for a lot of you, this is probably, like I mentioned, probably somebody you consider maybe a twin flame connection. Um, and there's a feeling here of being ready for something deeper, being ready for something more. And I feel like some of you may already have a soulmate actually in your life. 
or you're manifesting this person. And the reason I feel is because of the eight of pentacles here, like somebody who is going to really put in more of this like dedication into the connection with you. So it's something that you are lining up to, but I feel like there is... A situation here that is still kind of maybe in your energy field, you're juggling too much. This could be you. Some of you may have to make cho a choice between two people. That could be you too, the viewer of the reading. You could have to make a choice here between two people. Or you're still trying to kind of forgive your heart here in terms of the past. And so with the decision that came through from the beginning, you're going to have to make a decision here if you have not already. Is the outcome with this throat chakra here and the what is the outcome here you have the seven of cups what is the outcome here the palace of cups and the king of cups yeah, it just feels like something here is, is very, like, intangible. There's a lot of water here. So with the Seven of Cups, again, there's a need to make a choice here. So, um, again, there's a few different things I'm getting. But for a lot of you, there's sort of an ideal or there's a longing, there's a desiring, there's a yearning for... For, for something, for this, I feel like it's probably somebody else who's yearning for you this way. I mean, it could be you too, but I don't know. It's like this King of Cups, the way that he's looking at this cup here, there's a very intent energy on visiting this sort of emotional fulfillment uh, and possibly even wanting to communicate this. But again, This is the Palace of Cups, not the Palace of Coins. So it's sort of like visiting it momentarily, but not putting in any groundedness into the connection. And that could be because there's a whole jumble of things going on. There's a need to be, again, more vulnerable, be more open here, um, and also possibly still dealing with a lot of um, other issues that are causing blocks when it comes to this connection manifesting. So let's see, any final messages for the collective in love? It's like there's a desire to communicate something here. There's a desire to do something. Any other messages for the collective in love? Yeah, not the right time. So, and here we have peaceful resolution showing at the bottom. We have family changes and we have communicate clearly. So, oh my gosh, okay, all these cards flew out. Let me grab it. So we have easy does it, stop trying so hard to control everything. We have marriage and we have ask your angels that kind of flew out here. Uh, <clears throat> um, I do feel like a lot of you, just to kind of summarize this, there's something that's not the right time. We have that choice coming through and there's a very kind of complicated situation here as it depends uh, on your specific story. But I do feel like for a lot of you, there is this sort of wishing upon a star energy about what could be, and I do think it's probably somebody connected to you. Um, there's a strong connection here, strong spiritual tie. There is a lot kind of shifting and changing within family for somebody, maybe even having another connection and having to deal with a lot of financial struggles, financial difficulties. Somebody wearing a mask here, this person wearing a false mask, having uh, like hiding behind 
a mask really having gone and being uh, going through a lot of triggers within not just you but other connections you are going to have to make a decision here about this connection because eventually i feel like maybe there will be some form of movement here uh and you know maybe they have to make a decision too but with this here the same story repeats i do feel like there's something that keeps repeating itself and this is why the seven of cups too is here it's like something is not growing and evolving to the next phase um and this is what i feel there's a need to communicate clearly and honestly and openly about what's going on here um, to come into some form of peaceful resolution. For some of you, this is going to be you forgiving um, and vice versa, coming into more of a mature King of Cups here. With this here too, listen well and fully. There's something about compassion. There's something about forgiveness here. And this could mean you coming into peace and then wanting to move forward to someone who's going to match your like what you're looking for in love. Somebody feels very afraid to take this leap of faith, to communicate, to come forward to you. Um, the scales of karma is trying to take care of something in the background here of this connection. Because I feel like it's not the right time. Eventually there's going to be a peaceful resolution. There's going to be something again here coming into peace. Trust in the, the universe at the moment. Trust in your uh, yourself at the moment here. But until things can really be different things will repeat with this eight of coins reverse there's something about the effort that's not being put in there's an there's a thinking there's an imagining there's a longing for what could be here maybe on both ends um and i feel like yeah there's something better than ask your angels yeah so for a lot of you, this is this is telling you here, we have endings will lead to the new as well. So for most of you, what I'm getting, make a U-turn before the wrong choice is made. Um, there's going to be sort of a detour here, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to come in the form of possible communication that's going to give you truth and lead to truth within this connection. There is something better uh, coming in for you. But I'm almost getting like this energy with the King of Cups and the Palace of Cups is that this is what's better. This is somewhere very emotional. This is somewhere very fulfilled. And there's a make a U-turn before the wrong choice is made. This is why I feel there's somebody here. It's, it's It gets really confusing because sometimes it can pick up on the other person too. So just really take how which one you feel it is for you. Somebody here, I feel, has gone down the wrong path. Somebody here has um, maybe ha has to make a difficult choice, has, has to make a difficult decision. They are feeling like they want to be vulnerable. They're feeling like their their emotions is elsewhere. They're feeling like their emotions could be something more abundant than where they currently are or what they're currently experiencing, okay? And again, that could be you too. And either way, the truth will be made clear to really try to ground this with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands reverse. So either you'll take a completely new route, you'll see the truth about the situation that keeps repeating, it cannot grow anymore, you'll forgive, you'll move forward, and you'll find your palace of cups with your soulmate who's going to accept you regardless, okay? Or this person is going to kind of have to come out of something else in order to find their palace of cups with you and not just see this as a fantasy, but see this as something that could be better for them than where they currently are because there is a strong connection for somebody here but either way it's about being vulnerable being open being honest being peaceful um and really mastering this whole journey that is being mastered to some degree and there's a protection around it that's why i feel because there's, there's one connection here that i feel is very sacred or special and so it's not necessarily coming through as like a, a toxic thing it's just coming through as something that has had to really go through a lot of hurdles um and if that doesn't feel like you have that, 
you are on your way to finding that because you are protected and you've mastered the cycle of maybe this other person who is still attached to your energy and you're clearing your energy and you're going to be really wanting to have someone that's going to accept you for who you are and also the like the practical side of things not just the passion and not just the fantasy and you are going to be making this choice and it's going to be up to you i feel so i hope this could help you thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of the day and i'll talk to you next time much love next time much love next time much love